This right here is an offset or a tool that will allow you to pick any other sketch features or features on the model and that will transpose it to your sketch. And that's a handy, handy tool that I use all the time in modeling. So what that will allow me to do now is pick just that surface right there. And then I can extrude that to make the actual uh, tire, the rubber tire part for this wheel, which if you see the actual wheels, they actually do come off the rubber part. Yeah, that was 0.75, I'll just match it. Oh, you know what? I want to make that a separate part, though. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that extrude. And new. I want to create it as new again. So it's its own separate part. There we go. Call part four down here. I'm going to rename that tire. I'm going to chamfer the edges real tiny chamfer so one would be big that's a little that's better and then i'll do the other side too Okay, so I should be able to go back to my assembly now, and uh, I can see I'm getting somewhere. I'm not uh, um, – oh, that's right. So I'm going to go back, create those holes for the body. So what I did to make – is I no-showed that uh, canopy and body with those eyeballs there. All right, so positionally, I think that tire is actually just about what I want here. Um, uh, so I'm probably, if anything, I, I may want it a little higher on here. But I, I can work with that. So I'm going to put my corresponding uh, hole in the body side here. So I'm going to hit a new sketch. I'm going to select on the side of the vehicle, say new sketch, and then from the right side, all right, so, and by the way, if that is a 5 sixteenths hole, so I'll just uh, dimension it. You can even put in 5 sixteenths of an inch 